sheer panic, sheer panic, you know, hoping that my son's okay and the other kids are okay and even the bus driver's okay. She's a nice lady. Tonight, 10 elementary school students and their bus driver very shaken up. Some seriously hurt when their bus rolled off Highway 75 about 3 o'clock this afternoon. 2 News reporter Liz Bryant there where it happened. And Liz, how's everyone doing tonight? Karen, everyone's doing pretty well. Now, the four kids went to the hospital as well as the bus driver. She was the most seriously injured with a broken leg. This is the hill that the bus rolled down off of Highway 75. You can see that there's a lamp post behind me that was knocked down. As firefighters carried the school bus driver up the hill on a stretcher, others moved students from the grass to an ambulance. Oh my God. Where's my son? Parents ran up to the wreck frantic. We were at the bus stop waiting for the bus and another parent drove by and said the bus was in an accident. Skid marks show you just how far the bus rolled off of Highway 75, landing on its side. Yeah, I was holding it on and then I saw back in some, and then someone's foot was on my hand. And then my hand got hurt. Tulsa police believe the driver was just going too fast in the rain, though that doesn't mean over the speed limit. I think the bus is equipped uh, with uh, you know a black box. So we'll be able to determine the exact speed. The kids who made it out uninjured hopped on another bus to reunite with their parents at Webster High School. You know, you're, you always think the worst and hope for the best, but you know, when you when you get your son and you see the bus, I looked in the bus and it I just couldn't believe that anybody could come away from that okay. This dad happy to have his children in his arms again as the wrecker pulled the truck upright. I was thinking everyone was still alive though. Now the students on their way home from Project Accept. It's their elementary school. It's an alternative elementary school under the Tulsa Public Schools umbrella. Live right now, Liz Bryant, 2 News works for you. Going in depth last week, an SUV hit a TPS bus in North Tulsa. This is video of that crash. 36 students on board at the time. Six had to be treated for minor injuries. Now, many of you asked why seatbelts aren't installed on buses, and two news learned there are several reasons. It allows for a quick evacuation. If something were to happen, we have to evacuate the bus quickly. We don't have to worry about the seatbelt. He adds that school buses are designed in a way that limits the impact on riders during an accident. And Oklahoma's seatbelt law states that school buses are exempt.